Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel and check it out. Got me a new toy to play with. I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing here. I don't know how quick it'll be, but my new Kamado Joe Classic 2 ceramic grill. This is how it comes if you order one online through Atlantic Grill Company. They will ship it to your house on a pallet, a very sturdy box. This is wood top and bottom, strapped down, really stable. So there's very little way this could actually break unless somebody shoves uh, you know, some forks through it, which I have heard people done. Let's check out what this box is right here first. I think I know this is probably the, yep, this is my Kamado Joe hat. Look at that. I'll wear that brand new. Love that. And the brand new just came out this year. Kamado Joe stainless steel charcoal basket that hooks right into the divide and conquer system. It's very good. What's that box? I think I know what this box is. Yeah. Kamado Joe also has a couple different um, cooking surfaces that you can buy extra. Uh, cast iron griddle, cast iron grate. And this is actually one of their specialty. This is a soapstone. So this is kind of like a slab of granite. This is actually soapstone, which is um, very good at uh, holding heat. Doesn't hold any germs in it or anything. So this is uh, something that uh, only Kamado Joe has. It's a soapstone does a lot of anything you can cook on a griddle. You can cook on the soapstone better. All right, guys, that's for the uh, two little boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and take a minute and pop these open, but I'm not going to bore you with all the filming of that. So I'll be all right, right guys. Back. I got all the straps cut. And first thing is just to remove this top. So this is all solid wood. So it's very, uh, very stable shipping. I'm going to take a look at how this comes in the box. So if you guys are ever worried about it breaking during shipping, this box is very heavy corrugated cardboard, very thick. It's got a lot of um, insulation there, so that's how it comes in the box. You got everything all in one here. You got your cart, shelves, all the uh, all the uh, grates and everything are inside the dome. So you got your little protector here for your top of your dome. Kind of look down in there. You can see that the cart's kind of upside down there. All right, that's how it comes. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Well, guys, I got everything out of the inside of the grill, so now I can start kind of taking this out, putting it on the um, putting it on the cart, so I can wheel it back to my patio. All right, 
my son came home I was able to put it on the cart which is really easy all you do is take all the plastic off the cart flip it over there's uh, one piece that uh, that bottom ring that um, encases the uh, bottom of the Kamado that needs to get uh, attached and it just screws on tightens up and that's it and you place it right in the uh, in the cart the two front wheels are lockable they're big metal wheels and so it doesn't go anywhere once you get it locked in place and now we're ready to start assembling it so I'm going to move it just a little bit closer here I'm going to start putting uh, this together uh, one of the things you're going to notice on the Kamado Joe it does have a really big um, dome thermometer this is actually you know can be calibrated but it's a nice big um, thermometer here this latch holds the lid down and one of the reasons it needs this latch is because with this airlift hinge there's no weight uh, from the lid to hold it against the uh, big thick oven like um, gasket here this is a wire mesh gasket so new to this uh, classic 2 model it's on the top and the bottom and if you see this airlift hinge there's I can do it with a one finger and it stays up so it needs that latch to hold it in place so it doesn't come popping open letting air in while you're cooking so <clears throat> lock this down so that's one of the good things about the, the grills there they like said this is uh, compared to big green egg or even the older Joe's this um, gasket is a real big upgrade so it shouldn't need replacing um, for two or three years at the most you know maybe even longer the other felt type gasket was uh, it would need replacing every couple of years auto Joe's all come with a, a removable ashtray so you don't have to take an ash tool and scrape stuff out or suck it out with a vacuum you just pull this ashtray out and it comes out I'm gonna wait to put this in so I actually put the bottom in and like I said before this comes with the um, new AMP firebox which just means that it's multi-piece and um, it won't break. One of the biggest issues with the Big Green Eggs and Kamado Grill in general and the Kamado Joe's is that the firebox would crack after a couple of years from the intense heat all the time. But um, Kamado Joe solved that by creating this firebox that's in multiple pieces. So you don't have any kind of stress to uh, for it to crack. So I'm gonna set this All up right, and I'll I get right the back. pedals out. Put the um, ash tray in there and if you can see that. And these are kind of loose in there because they need to be secured by this big metal ring. And if you see this, this is where your um, rack for your divide and conquer goes and you kind of want to line them up to your front back and your sides so when you put this in kind of want those lined up so you can adjust your uh, grates in a in a way that uh, it's lined up left right front back so and what you do with these these are going to be kind of be spaced apart you just kind of lightly pull them together they don't have to be totally together because they won't be they don't fit tight up against each other but you want this ring really tight because what will happen if you don't have this ring really tight and all the way down up against those um, pedals is that when the grill gets really hot this can warp so you want to make sure that you get this all the way down and if you see that that's the way it goes that's your AMP firebox and probably will not ever break um, I've had one in my Big Joe now for about two years and no cracks whatsoever works perfect so 
like I said, you just want to make sure that you got these little uh, grooves lined up on the sides and in the front and the back so that when you uh, want to put your grates in there and your divide and conquer rack that it fits in there right. And that's all we have for the AMP firebox. Okay I'll guys, be right before back. I get into uh, the divide and conquer system that comes with the Kamado Joe grills, I'm going to show you what normally would come with this grill is a cast iron grate for your charcoal that would fit in the bottom down here. And what that would do is make sure your hot coals stayed up here in the firebox and that your ash would fall down into the ashtray. Some of your hot coals will get down there, but this keeps most of your hot coals up here in the firebox. And this is what would come standard with the grill. This is what comes with all of them. But Kamado Joe has now came out with a stainless steel charcoal basket that also has a divider in it that you can use with a rotisserie. And they make these for both sizes of the Kamado Joe. And these actually lock into the divide and conquer system. And what that does is it gives you a lot more airflow here for your charcoal, but it also makes it where you can actually pick the whole divide and conquer system up and shake the ash off instead of having to go in there and scrape it around with a uh, ash tool. So it makes it really convenient. It gets better airflow, so it's a little bit easier to um, control the temperature of the grill that way. But it really plays a role. I have the um, Joe Tisserie rotisserie that I'm going to be using with this and this divider actually helps it where you can actually just have charcoal in one side of your charcoal basket and leave the other one open so that you're just you have direct heat on one side and, and uh, no heat on the other and you can actually turn this around to have it face you know either front or back or left or right so you can actually turn this any which way you want to uh, I'm going to probably use it mostly like this because I'm going to be using it for the rotisserie and I want my fire in the back here with the rotisserie catching it on one side. So that's something new for the Kamado Joe that's an accessory. You can buy that separate. does not come with it, but um, they're only I think maybe 70, 80 bucks for the classic size and for the Big Joe I think it's 125 or so. But it's well worth it. Real heavy gauge stainless steel. The bottom grate is really thick stainless and um, they should last a long time. So now I'm going to show you what the divide and conquer system is that comes with all the uh, come out of Joe grills. And one of the first things that comes I'm going to take show you is this is the divide and conquer rack and this will fit you'll see right in here and you can see where those hooks from that um, charcoal grate or charcoal uh, basket lock right into place and I can pick that whole basket this whole piece up as one and you can see where those little grooves on the uh, ring metal ring here for the firebox sit and it all sits right in place there. And what this allows you to do, this whole rack, lets you adjust your half moon grates, your heat deflector, you have a half, two half moon heat deflectors that you can put one on each side. You can use them both if you're gonna cook indirect for the whole grill, or you can have direct heat on one side and indirect on the other. You have your um, grates. You can have one grate on top and one grate on the bottom so that uh, so you can have different levels of heat. So you can cook closer to the flame on the bottom and cook uh, farther away from the heat on the other. So this is how the divide and conquer is much better than what comes standard on a big green egg because you can actually have multiple levels of cooking. You can have indirect, direct, um, and so many different options, and it all comes with the grill. 
There's also another ring here that can give you actually more options. So you can actually set the ring here on the top and actually have more space. You can set your deflector plates on here. You put a pizza stone on here. You can put a wok on here, a pot, a cast iron, um, you can put a cast iron pot in here to make chili. I mean, this is the accessory rack. And that all comes with the divide and conquer system. So that's pretty cool. And that's all the internals of this particular grill. I'm going to go ahead and take out the other heat deflector just so you can see it. So that's what your divide and conquer system is. Pretty much multiple cooking surfaces, multiple uh, levels of heat, indirect, direct, all in one. So that's how innovative so the Kamado Joe is. One of the last things that we're going to add is our side shelves. And if you see here, they are heavy duty, really thick, high density plastic. And they just clip right on. Right onto the side here, and they can stay on there. You can take them out, just let them drop. But once they're on, they're pretty stable. These are heat resistant. I would not put, you know, super hot um, pans, pots, grill grates, stuff like that on them. Um, you know, they will take, if it's moderately warm, but I wouldn't put, uh, you know, something that comes out of here that's 900 degrees on this because they will melt. But they both fold down on the sides. And that's it. I mean, that's your whole package. You got the cart with the wheels. You got your airlift hinge, which makes this lid very, very light, very easy. It stays in place. If you ever need to adjust it, there's this one screw that will adjust it because every once in a while this might start to sag a little bit because it needs adjusting. But um, your divide and conquer system racks, your multi-piece AMP firebox, and there's just one more thing that Kamado Joe came out with for this particular model. It is the top vent. <clears throat> And if you look at this, it's actually cast aluminum and it's got little marks here to kind of give you a guide on how to set your temperature. If you're doing a low and slow, you want to kind of keep it closed most of the way. If you're doing a hot and fast, you can open it up. But this little top here keeps the rain out. So if you got it on a patio where it's not covered and it's out in the rain, um, you don't have to worry about the rain getting into your grill and cooling off your fire. Now the old Kamado Joes and the Big Green Eggs still have the, um, it's a day, like a little daisy wheel at the top. And when it's open, it's, it's exposed. It can get rain in there and stuff. So they're the old fashioned cast iron, uh, big bulky. And a, a lot of times what will happen on those is when you lift your lid, the hinge on the cast iron will op will move the top of the uh, the top of your uh, vent so it, it, you got to readjust it every time you open and close the lid well this one will stay in place no matter what you do so you don't have to worry about it you know opening and closing and moving every time you open the lid so that's another innovation of the Kamado Joe that I absolutely love so that's it guys I think that's pretty much all it does come with a ash tool um, if you need one and it does come with a grill gripper cast iron grill gripper if you need to um, get your grill grate off and it's hot and you don't want to use a um, some gloves you can just grab your grill grate so it comes with a set of these and it comes with an ash tool that you really don't need, you know, with the ash tool. Um, you can, uh, with the ash tool, you can move your um, coals around to get the ash down into the ash pan. But with the new uh, 
basket there you really don't need that anymore so that's it guys uh that's my first look oh unboxing putting together of the kamado joe classic 2 i hope you guys got something out of this it's really awesome grill so i have the older big joe model it's about uh, three or four years old but this model comes with a lot more new options and i know i'm going to do a lot of good cooks on this especially putting that rotisserie to work Take a look at the Kamado Joes. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got something out of this. And I hope you look forward to seeing me cook with some more, uh, put some more videos with the Kamado Joe Classic, too. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.